Understand, I follow universal law, which trumps all this mess that y'all got going on here. Well, by my law, I have the right to do We're what I need to do. Law says it, though. You understand you know that, right? And, and let me tell you something about your law. If you okay. go back and actually study your law, none of these laws have actually, my law. they have expired. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Santa Rosa County, Florida, with a sovereign citizen who has been detained over a uh, road rage incident where he had committed assault on another motorist. Now, uh, early on in the investigation, he doesn't seem like he's a sovereign citizen, but just wait, uh, it turns out he is uh, deep into the madness of the sovereign citizen movement. It just hasn't taken full effect yet because his entire argument isn't exactly based in it. But the elements of it are within his system and they are expanding within him. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how are you, man? Hey, I'm definitely with the sheriff's office. Were you guys just involved in an altercation or maybe a road rage incident with somebody? Uh, yeah, that bastard was a road rager. Okay, all right. Would you mind step out me real quick? Just talk to me so I can get your side of the story. I can talk to you right here. Well, I'm asking you to step out, okay? So you can step out or I can help you out. It's your choice. We're investigating crime, sir. You don't have the right to put your hands on me. I'm talking to you. Nobody's going to put your hands on me. I'm cooperating. I'm talking. Okay, and I'm asking you to step out so I can talk to you. I'm not going to step out of my vehicle for what? Do you have your ID, sir? I sure do. Okay, let me see it, please. Let me get my video going. Okay, get your video going. Are you getting there? Ethan on your traffic. I'll be out at 132. Zero. One, yeah. So you want to tell me what's going on then? I was turning from coming from the beach. I was getting over in the left lane. This asshole speeds around me and cusses at me. So I come over here to McDonald's and I tell him, I said, look, you were behind me. You were following me. So that means you need to wait to see what I'm going to do before you try to speed around me. He got in the, the, the left, far left lane, so I got in the far left lane behind him. And I came over and I asked him, I said, what was the purpose of you cussing at me? And he started. Well, dude, no matter what happened, no matter how it happened, it still doesn't give you the right to go into a McDonald's parking lot and slug the guy. And the way you're making it sound, it's as if uh, you might have instigated the whole thing by maybe accidentally cutting him off. He cussed you out, and uh, he ended up uh, driving away. Further, it sounds like you took offense to that and uh, ended up making him pull over into that McDonald's parking lot, which is where the situation escalated. So overall, it seems like you were the instigator in this whole damn thing, so far anyway. And according to Florida statutes, it's against the law to commit battery against somebody, no matter how pissed off you seem to be. Okay. Just that simple. So he was behind me. Because he's tossing at you, you punched him in the mouth. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because from here forward, y'all going to learn to respect what we are on Earth. That okay. shit was uncalled for. I was... I Who is this we that you are referring to? Is it the sovereign citizen movement or something else entirely? Because he never really defines who we are. However, he does present sovereign citizen uh, talking points later on. So he could be talking about the sovereign citizen movement, which might explain his anger issues. Because if he's seen a lot of sovereign citizen videos of them getting arrested, well, I can understand why he's so upset. Well, at least one of his motivations for being so upset. I, had, I was in front of him, so that means that wherever I go, if okay. he's behind there me, he to make to I decide where I'm going to go. I was getting in the lane, the, the left, the only left lane that was open. There's he was stopped trying to speed around to get to the far left lane. That lane wasn't even open yet, just to get. 
Donald. Okay. Illinois, a Sam and came beside us and just started cussing at us. I was like, okay. Get rid of I came over here to the lot and I asked him, I said, what was the purpose of you cussing at me? And I said, you're going to look in front of where was he standing when you punched him? Was he like at your window? He was sitting in his car right here. I walked over to the car and I asked him, I said, look, what was the purpose of you cussing at me? You were behind me and you had to wait until I moved and whatever I did, you decide what you're going to do after that. He started cussing. He said, well, you need to learn how to job. I said, well, you're going to, you're going to learn how to respect what, what I am on earth and what I stand for on earth right now. Y'all better stop messing with us. Y'all better stop messing with us. That guy, he got judged today. And if you knew who I was, you would know why he got judged. And if you knew the shit that he was into before this incident, this day, everything happens for a reason. Nothing. Is somebody out with him over there? Okay. Everything happens for a reason. And y'all need to stop getting involved in people's personal business because all that does is just create more situations somebody where people don't have to take there. responsibility for the shit they do. That sounds pretty close to a sovereign citizen talking point right there where uh, sovereign citizens don't want the police interfering in anybody's traffic issues which of course would cause a lot of chaos on the road so that's not going to really happen dude you understand when you make contact with somebody it's considered a battery so we got the call so we have to investigate it and that's what we're here to do look he verbally abused me so that's battery not according to florida law you little snowflake if you had just ignored it and went about your day, you probably wouldn't be in jail after this. So, well, that's your own damn fault. Okay. <laughs> would, you, would you write a statement on saying what happened? I'm not, listen, listen, I'm not getting involved with y'all. We handle that ourselves. We're too grown for and we don't need to be policed. We don't need to be controlled. Well, we are not, a, we're not a preschool. Yes, sir. We're two grown men. I appreciate I your, handled my business like I was supposed to. I appreciate your, your opinion on the matter, but he has a different opinion. Okay. And as a and, man, and, we can Okay. And it, whatever his opinion is, if he wants to write down stuff for y'all, then he can't. I don't have to do that. I'm not getting involved with y'all. I'm telling you what you want to know. Okay. I'm cooperating with you, but I'm not getting out of my car. Okay. I'm not writing nothing down. I, all I had to do was deal with him. That was my problem. I dealt with it, and that's it. Okay. Are there any weapons in the vehicle? Any guns, knives, grenades, anything like that? I am a spiritual being. I don't do no smoking, no drinking. I don't need no guns. I don't need none okay. of that stuff. It's just a yes or no. I just want to know if you got any weapons in the I car. That's all I'm looking no for. No drugs, no guns, no alcohol, no nothing. Okay, perfect. That's all I'm asking. You from Virginia? Yes, I What am. brings you down here? I'm camping. My son and I retired and we came down okay. here for peace. You retired I, military? I, I was in the military, but I retired. What branch of the military? Navy. Navy? Yes. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. How many years you spent in the Navy? I was in two years and I ran a business. Well, I ran several businesses for 16 years. Okay. I was a realtor. I, was a, I had a commercial cleaning business and a landscape and lawn care business. Okay. I retired, so I go on a spiritual journey. Okay. This is the type of shit that I'm dealing with. So... I got, I got nothing against your spiritual journey, man. I deal with all this stuff. I dealt with the, the problem. I already fixed that. If he ain't man enough to do that for himself, that's his problem. Okay. If he wants to run around cussing at people and being mad at people because he can't, that little baby can't have his way, then he gets what he is. Okay, well, that's not always the way the law sees it, though. You understand you know that, right? And, and let me tell you something about your law. If you okay. go back and actually study your law, none of these laws have actually, my law. they have expired. They, the, the statute of limitations on all American laws have already expired in 20 years from 1776. Oh, boy, are you ever wrong, dude. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Statute of limitations has to do with how much time can pass between the injury and the claim of the injury, you freaking moron. Basically, when the uh, issue occurred and when legal ca action can be taken to resolve the issue. It has nothing to do with the uh, expiration dates on laws, if there are even expiration dates on them at all, you freaking idiot. So, what's next? Are you going to say we're under maritime law or something like that? Oh, please don't let it be maritime law. Oh, yeah. and, and, and furthermore, how are we as citizens on land operating okay. in maritime law? We do not operate on maritime law in this country. You are sadly so misinformed. But this is the only time he's going to mention it, so let's carry on. 
Okay. All right. Well, let me go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. I'm not getting out of my What's your name, sir? What did I do? Can I get your name? Sir. I told. I gave you my ID. He's got my ID. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you out of the car. We're gonna talk to them. Get his side of the story. Why do I gotta get out of the car? Listen to him. Listen to him. All right. Is he out? Look, no, I'm not going to there. because you guys are going too far no, with sir. this. No, no, no. You're going too far. I am not doing anything to anybody. I'm, I'm trying to be cordial. We're trying to expect you to be cordial. What you, what you want to do is control me. I'm not going to let you do that. Listen, I'm going to sit right here. I am talking to both of you like you are. Yes, sir. In the state of Florida, that's against the law. Okay, it's against my law for me to be talked to like he talked to me. I understand. And I follow universal law, which trumps all this mess that y'all got going on here. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Well, dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are failing at all levels. The United States law is not trumped by universal law. You still have to follow the United States laws. You still have to follow the laws of the individual states when you are in them. Otherwise, you will be subjected to the fines and penalties of each state that you are in should you not follow the laws. And the same goes with any other country you are in. What, do you think you could just walk around and say, I'm immune from your laws because of universal laws? I mean, that's not going to hold up in any other country, France, Britain, and especially not North Korea should you try it there. So, like I said, you don't have no jurisdiction over me. You are on my earth. And if I decide to do something about it, I can right now. Look, when, Sir, I, when you look at this, you need to understand what this is. I understand and you need you to understand who I am. Okay, and you need to understand that I have a power that I can use right now on both of you okay. if you don't stop don't, messing don't with me. Don't threaten us. We're not here threatening you. I'm not. I'm okay. not you are threatening me. No, You're telling sir, me you can, asking by you. law, we're I can do this. You. Well, by my law, I have the right to do we're what I need to do. Asking you, please make it easier on everybody. We get this out why of the way. Why do I have to do? Why do I have to get out of my vehicle? I'm not. If I'm in my vehicle, you safe. I'm safe. Everybody's safe. Yeah, you, no, you, you're you're safe. the crime that possibly you committed. Okay. Okay. Yes. So okay. we're investigating this. So we need you to step out. Okay. Mr. Is this your son back here? Yes, it is. Okay, he's this being is completely cordial. Everything's being good. Okay. He's fine. Why won't y'all let him get in? But there's no reason. We're trying to get you out. We're not going to let him get why in. Why do I need to get out? If I'm not under arrest, why do I need to get out? Because there's a possibility of you being under arrest. Why do y'all have to for arrest me? Battery, for committing battery, sir. But we have to investigate that. And you doing the way you're doing it is making it more difficult for us. It's more difficult for you. It's making it more difficult for your son. You're here on vacation. We're just trying to we're trying to work our way through it, okay? Listen, guys. Listen, hey, there's no listening. Just... just be cordial, step out of the vehicle, and let's figure this out, okay? Look, one thing I want y'all to understand is, I don't, I'm not going to jail over some of that pet. If, if two men in the street can't handle their business, if he, if he's big enough to run his mouth to anybody he runs into and can just say whatever he wants to say out of his mouth, there's consequences for that, okay? He suffered the consequences. And if y'all get in the way of his judgment, you bring it on yourself. And I'll get out. Yeah, and I'll tell you. Thank you. I what appreciate you're doing it. is bringing it on yourself because you're getting involved in some shit that you okay. You wouldn't mind standing right here by him. Okay. What I want you to do is turn around and place your hands behind look, your back. Look, look, look. You don't have to do all of that. At this point, the father and son both resist arrest, and the son definitely tries to start something with the officers, but both of them are uh, taken down. Now, the son says something rather interesting as he's being placed in the back of a car, so let's go ahead and see what that is, because it is quite funny. When it comes to your soul, I hope you know it's mine. Okay, great. Fantastic. Is this the, the sun ran up on us? Okay. Yeah. Good. He can go I, heard it, I heard it. I heard And I was like, oh, I see him run up on our back. It smells like weed, so I'm searching his car. He ran up on y'all's back. Whenever I went to grab it, he pulled back. Closed his fist up at me. And whenever I went to grab him, he swung at me. It's good. That's assault LEO, right? Yeah. Did he hit you? I don't think he hit He's definitely going to resist, and it's not a solid hell yeah. Searching for arguments like this. Smell weed here. Yeah. Yeah, you can definitely smell it. I just can't believe he just. We were trying to be. I tried to talk him out of it. You see, you're, I tried. You're hella patient, man. Yeah. Well, you. 
Oh, you, I won't even step out, boy. Yeah. You got knives all in there. You got knives all in here. Five minutes later. He wasn't, yeah. he wasn't getting out of the car, he wasn't doing this, he wasn't going to buy our laws. Like I was... uh, he's sovereign. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, you want to put Junior in here with me? Yep. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright. They're going on a spiritual journey, he said. Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what he's saying over there. They're, They're going learning. on a spiritual journey. Learning. What's up, man? I was turning in to go get something. I went to go turn off the bridge to take a right. Right. This guy cut me off. Um, I tried to go around him, get away from him. Um, he followed me here. I turned in here. Um, used my blinkers the whole time. And I noticed he was using his blinkers the whole time. He followed me. He went through the drive through I was going to get something. Um, he got on the other side. He said, I'm going to teach you 58. some manners, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to get you. And then he parked here and proceeded to get out of his vehicle and just. Did you ever get out of your car? No. Okay. My seat belt on okay, you got your ID on you? Do you want to pursue charges on him for I battery? Find him. Oh, we've got him. Yeah, I, I want. You can't do this to people. Well, as far as the two soft tards within the other vehicle go. The uh, father ended up getting a felony of burglary with assault or battery and a misdemeanor of resisting officer without violence and got a cash bond of $51,000. While the son ended up getting a felony of resisting officer with violence and assault on an officer of a misdemeanor with a $6,000 cash bond. Well now, stupid is as stupid does, and if you're going to be a sovereign citizen, you might as well go all the way. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.